folks. Uh, Zach Elliott at Feel Free to Argue. I've um, been hoping to vlog more regularly now that my kids are in school, but uh, uh, for whatever reason, I haven't had much success so far. Not that there isn't plenty to vlog about. This morning, just because I'm pretty agitated about it, I wanted to talk about a certain arrogant, self serving nitwit in Gainesville who is causing some problems right now. But my concern really is not so much with this bigoted idiot. Um, my concern is with the media that seems to think that what he's doing is newsworthy. Now, I really disapprove of what this guy is doing. I mean, I, I, I think it's both pointless and um, dangerous, but honestly we have the right to do pointless and dangerous things. I mean as long as you can't show direct harm, of course the harm won't be direct. Um, you have to protect the speech, even the burning speech of morons, um, because that's just the way the country is structured. And that's the way our laws are. And like I, I said in a video a few you know weeks ago, I mean, him doing that is the guarantor of my freedom. Um, you know, because he gets to do that. You know, I get to do things like make videos that I'm sure lots of people in the government would disapprove of. Um, my concern, though, is more about the mainstream media and the fact that this is getting an incredible amount of airplay. You know, you, it's hard to get away from. You know, every time I pull up, you know, my, <laughs> my Google News page, there it is, right at the top. You know, someone talking about it or reacting to it or, you know, trying to warn this alleged man of God, you know, not to do it or whatever. And all I can think about is, like, what if he did this and nobody cared. As nobody should care, honestly. Because, I mean, he has a flock of about 50 deluded fuckheads, and him and his deluded fuckheads are really not going to be able to accomplish anything. I'm surprised they could get enough money together to buy the Korans in the first place. But if, you know, he did that, and, you know, he yelled about it, and no one showed up, and no one recorded him, and no one asked him questions, and generals didn't comment about what he was doing, and presidents, and um, various other dignitaries, all making it seem like what he was doing was more important than what it actually is, not just the actions of one deluded fuckhead, but, you know, uh, that he represents something, that he's part of a movement, that he's uh, not the marginal piece of shit that he is. And unfortunately, this you know just points to a, a rather problematic aspect of our society right now. There's an opportunity cost whenever we allow ourselves to get tied up in the ramblings of some retarded bigot like this alleged preacher, or, you know, by the same token, you know, follow um, the exploits of, like, Snooky or Lindsay Lohan. Um, there's an opportunity cost in the sense that we could be using that same time to enrich ourselves or the world in some way. <coughs> We could either be making the world better or at least not be making it worse. I mean, honestly, just going to the bathroom and having a good solid shit would probably be a lot better or a lot, at least a lot less harmful than dealing with this on any level. Now, I realize that I'm kind of contributing to the noise, even though I refuse to mention this guy or his church by name. Um... But I do so only in, this, in, in the context of talking about this as a dangerous trend. 
And it's not the kind of thing that I usually like to even get involved with, because I, I do think it is pointless at its heart. There is no there there. I mean, him burning or not burning the Koran doesn't have anything to do with the, the feelings of majority of Americans, who I honestly believe are tolerant. I mean, I know there's a... We're certainly hearing from all the people who aren't tolerant now, but I still think the majority of people are tolerant. I think most people look at this guy and are humiliated by him, whether they're Christian, Muslim, whatever. If they're American, I think they look at this guy and say, what a jerk. What a useless, what a waste of plasma. But I still feel like that's not enough. It's not enough. We've got to just ignore people like this. We can't, I mean, we can have a discussion about, like, you know, how we feel about the Muslim faith. But having this guy be a part of it, it's not relevant. He doesn't have anything to contribute. He doesn't have anything to say. So, I guess that's all I've got for you this morning. Um, I wanted to talk about this, just because it's been tying my stomach up in nuts. I feel bad, because I feel like there probably will be some sort of reaction. I think it'd be really nice if there wasn't. I think it would make the guy look really foolish. So, you know, if you're, you're a Muslim and you have any control over you know, whether or not there's a reaction, please remember, the lack of any kind of reaction will only make this guy look all the more the retarded idiot that he is. And any kind of reaction will lead some people to think that he is right, which would be a shame. But for the rest of you, and when you see something like this, I would turn it off. And if it makes you angry enough, write the station. Say, why are you showing this to me? I don't care. And that may not do much good, but uh, maybe it would. You know, you got to play with these institutions as if you can do something sometimes, just to, just to make sure that it's still broken. Anyways, it's been Zach Elliott, and you know, you can always feel free to argue. Have a good day, everyone.